Okay, here we are with the uh, Lattice Cube uh, torture print that um, uh, took about six hours to do. And this was printed at 0.1 millimeters, so this is standard uh, printed at normal. Um, it was printed at uh, loose fill, so I think that turns out to be like 30% fill. And, um, you know, no support, no raft, just uh, kind of what the default settings were. So. Very happy with the way this turned out. I've actually never printed one of these before. Um, well, actually, I tried to print one of these on the printer, but the Robo filament is so kinked up that it broke. So I don't uh, recommend using the Robo filament. Um, the spool is just too small, and it keeps coming off the spool and winding and getting kinks in it. So I switched over to um, what's it called, like z zero filament or something. It's not even very good filament. It's cheap. I think it was like eighteen dollars or fifteen dollar filament. And this is what I'm getting from that. So that's pretty impressive. I will be uh, switching over to my eSun PLA Plus because that is my favorite filament and I think it gives the best quality. Um, but you can see, I mean, just absolutely uh, pretty much flawless printer. There's a few points here where you can see a little bit of, uh, it's not quite as smooth. You can't even see on the camera, unfortunately, but. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good all throughout. Um, again, I don't have anything to compare this against because I've never printed one of these before, so you all can weigh in in the comments of whether or not this actually is a, a good print, but to my eye, uh, this looks pretty fantastic, and really with a little bit of cleanup, it would be perfect. So um, again, six hours of print, and uh, you know, it was fun to watch it come to life, so thanks for watching.